Festivities wrapping up. The crowd is electric, and we'll be back to get it going right after this. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The show presents the National League Division Series. And going, here it comes. He's going, he's going. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. Bro, and they okay. got him. Usually when you see a team try to steal a base in the early innings, it tells you they want to be aggressive on offense. Try to force the defense to make plays and slow them down. That's exactly what they did right there. So we'll see if that caught stealing changes the offensive approach moving forward. Everett spotted out all the way that he's turned things around. He's got two outs now ahead in this count, and he can pretty much dictate what's going to happen next in terms of the pitch sequence. Gathers and throws to first. The error becomes a move point, inning over. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. No score after a half inning. That one ripped. Way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. And he hammered that to straightaway center field. You're going to go through the wind of that part of the park. It just knocked that ball down. Lifted in the air, right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that'll do it. We played an inning. No score. At that one. Got him. Third out. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. I don't wear a cape or apron, so I ain't saving you a cleaning house. Do you think that's just a statement? Then you Chris like it's word of mouth. He's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Fellows ranging to his right. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. He put a drive into that ball, and he was rewarded for it for sure. He probably wondered a little bit if he got enough of it to clear the fence in the air. But I'm sure he's plenty happy jogging into second with the automatic double. Straighten him up a little bit. And a pinch. Swing and a high fly ball. Pretty well struck. Right field. Hops over the wall. And that's an automatic double. As a run scores. He puts a great swing on that pitch and drives home the run. And that was always going to be a double. But the bounce over the wall just took the guesswork out of it right away. It was a nice swing. On the ground to third. Has some trouble with it. No throw, and they don't get an out on the play. Back-to-back -back base hits. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. One's in the cage. One. In the left center for a base hit. One run across. Okay, headed for the plate. He's also in to score, and they lead by three. Stringing them together, that's three hits in a row. Nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Next pitch has popped up. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. But three score in the inning. Two of them on this two-run double. It's now 3-0. to the last of the third. And now it's the switch inning second baseman, Alan Sharp. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. And it kicks off the base of the wall. 
And that's a leadoff double. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his back. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. On the ground, right side. Tosses to the pitcher, covering the bag. There for the out. Runner scores from third. You're doing that. You could have a really good day out there on the mound. Here comes a pinch. Out to short. And that is that. you so make him expand his zone if he doesn't give him a walk to third and that is that He swings and drives one out to deep left field. That's down. One hops off the wall. Oh, the throw is wild. He's in with a double, and that's his second double of the night. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day, and a nice job of turning that one around. ball yet but you've got to be ready to hit one because you doubt the pitcher wants this to go to a 3-1 count line drive and it's a one hopper off the wall should be extra bases and it's second no play and a run comes in to score drove that ball nicely put a great swing on it and it jumped off his bat kind of put it all together there and he's rewarded with the double make that pitcher work a little more expose himself by throwing pitches that could be the key to winning perhaps later on so good job of extending this inning getting a knock with two oh now this ball's gonna get through and that's a base hit runner from second scores as they add on and it's now a six run lead two consecutive base hits for these guys here i know that was a ground ball but it was absolutely hammered through the infield that's not one you're excited to get in front of if you're an infielder you know they used to say charge it crazy matthew mayfield digs in now line drive to short and caught Five innings complete. The Padres with the lead, six to nothing. And now the catcher comes up to him, Brian Aguilar. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. And that one hops the wall. Sharp, relay to second, in there, that's a double. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here, but you'll take that swing and that result every time. Two on, two outs. That one blasted deep to right. Way back there. One run is in. Another comes in to score. It's 6-2. Throw cut off to third. Pulls into third safely as two runs score in the play. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. Anytime you smoke a ball off the wall, you kind of think about what it could have been, but obviously you have to be happy with that result. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That's back. Up against the wall and brings it in to the bottom of the sixth inning. The Padres on top here, six to two.
David Costa. The best, the designated hitter, David Costa. Grounder might be two. To second, there's one. Plenty of time at first. That's a double play. The right fielder, number 12. And watches strike one. That one hammered center field. Way back there. And it's gone. That one felt good, and they close the gap. It's 6-3. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ball game. Frank Reyes will hit next. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. And a superb diving catch. This dive wasn't the result of a bad route, Singy. The only reason he made the play is because his route was so good. No doubt, Boog. StatCast tells the same story. I mean, he got to a spot as quickly as you can possibly get there. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. That one ripped right center field. Banks off the wall. Sharp with a relay home in there. He scores. And now just a two-run deficit. Well done. Drives in the run. Absolutely blasted that one into the gap, but just didn't have quite enough to clear the wall out there. Maybe a little more elevation under it, and it carries over, but that's a swing you'll be happy with every time. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. Now this ball is down and could score a run. In comes the run from third, and it's a one-run game. Well, back within one as he brings home the run. Pitch was on the outside, didn't go the other way with it, but still a nice job of using the big part of the field to find a hole. No way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball there. Here's a one-two. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Seventh inning stretch time. The Padres out front here. Six to five. pitch swing and a ball lifted left field Juarez makes the catch and that'll do it welcome back to the batter now Ryan Fellows line drive and there's one down it was all over that fastball right there. I tell you what, if he gets under it just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit more. And okay, now the shortstop, Andres Valido. That smash towards center. And puts the squeeze on that. And that's the inning. ground right side in plenty of time to first and they get the lead off man in the ninth fastball grew right down the middle usually a lot of damage done with that pitch a hard grounder but he wanted to get that ball and now Bart champion good contact guy good defender on the ground right side 
And they're down to their last out. To run yourself out of the ball game, you get thrown out or picked off, it's over. Got it! And that's the ball game. Game threes are very critical when you have a series tied at one and one because you put yourself up. Anytime you go down, you're always chasing. When you're up in the series, you feel like you're in the driver's seat. Nice win today. So, Chris, here's a look at the final numbers from what turned out to be a really close ball game. Yeah, this is one of those games that clearly could have gone either way, and that's kind of exactly what you expect out of postseason baseball. So competitive. 6-5 the final here today. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.